Um, uh, right at the start of the last session, you witnessed your ward, uh, Greer Lacrima, who you had been charged with protecting while he negotiated uh, trade between the city of Kirill, which is suffering a famine, and Deekus Bend, which has an abundance of food, but a lack of metal or any material with which to make weapons. Um, some kind of infringing force has prompted Deekus Bend to uh, reach out in hopes of, uh, or, or to open itself up to the idea of trading so that it can produce weapons to fight off this in impending uh, issue. Um, however, you're, you were hired to protect Greer Lacrima. However, Greer stumbled into the bar late after you guys helped uh, with an issue okay. out in the woods. Uh, Greer stumbled into the bar demanding water and claiming it was very hot. Um, after a period of time, he transformed into a mound of shifting flesh and attacked, um, uh, nearly killing two of your party members before uh, you, uh, you, you rallied and put him down uh, with Aura's help, Aura Tolux being the bar bartender at the Verdant Corner where you are staying. Um, after Greer went... Go ahead. Uh, did, did he so much transform into a mound of shifting flesh, or was he kind of already just a mound of shifting flesh, and he moved to the left slightly? <laughs> so the guard came in. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, after you put uh, Greer down, uh, he he uh, this 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 mound of flesh, which was definitely transformative and not uh, moving to the left. Um, he, uh, after you put him down... Uh, I mean, in the right light, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, after you put him down, Reagan uh, Lubbock, the head guard uh, for Deacus Bend, uh, came into the bar um, after Aura fetched him uh, and initially uh, accused you of bringing some dark magic or something into the town uh, and hinted that something had gone sideways with previous visitors to the town, which were three paladins from the Archons of Light, also from Kirill. Um, this all culminated uh, in uh, Reagan telling you you weren't allowed to leave the town until after this was all sorted out. Uh... Uh, an investigation was going to be launched into where Greer had been the day before, what had happened, who he had spoken to, and what he had been doing that might have led to him transforming into this. Um, they can't be entirely positive that you had absolutely nothing to do with it, so they're they're keeping you in town until the investigation is complete. Why does um, a town so secluded require weapons to fight something off that's insisted about them being in a perfect environment? You have not discovered that yet, but that is a good question. Uh, I have to ask, are you asking in-universe, or have you been to Alabama, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Georgia, Texas, <laughs> Missouri, Florida? No, 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 this is an in-game question, and I know the answer for the real-life one. People are just stupid. Yeah. But... <laughs> and paranoid. Uh, that too. Sorry to interrupt, Chez. You're fine. Government's gonna so, come take our guns, Chez. I, I I do not feel qualified to comment uh, on this particular issue. <laughs> um, so the uh, after after this this incident, um, Immelrith did some investigation on the body. Um. You didn't figure out much, just that uh, Amalrith's investigation turned up that this was, in fact, just flesh. He just transformed and, and swelled into this uh, monster, and Gray Malakov um, deduced that this he had been transformed into a monster called a Gibbering Mouther, uh, which, comes, which, com which is, is created by a combination of madness and uh, corrupting magics. Of some kind. Is it gibbering or gibbering? Scholars still debate this these days. <laughs> yes, absolutely. 
I could get used to this water, I think. That, that super inspires uh, Oscar to write a song. Okay. Um, so you have all gone upstairs to rest after this is after this uh, incident. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of railroading here for the sake of something that I need to follow up on. Uh, Apotham, you have to take a trance, right? I mean, it's like a meditative trance thing. It's a four hour. It's not really sleep. But gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. Um, and all right. So uh, I want uh, everyone else is kind of resting, sleeping, studying, whatever you're doing. Yes. Um, Other th um, those of us who are not of the knife ear variety actually require sleep because we're not inhuman monsters. <laughs> Uh, Dorman, uh, what are you doing before you go to bed? So I'm in a room with not according to the map. <clears throat> yes. Cool. Um. Hmm. So Dorman looks at not, not a possum, not a possum. Not a possum. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, I immediately thought, oh, God, it's Mike Tyson trying to say it's not a possum. Not a possum. It's a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. I uh, ask, would you mind terribly uh, turning around? I have a small ritual I must perform. Uh. Okay. Thank I you. turn around. It will take but a minute. <clears throat> I head to the window. While well, he's my... not looking, I pull out a hand mirror. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I take my mask off and I stare up at the moon for a couple of minutes, uh, murmuring quietly under my breath in silhouette. Roll a sleight of hand check, Apotham, and roll a perception check, Dorman. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm not even in the game. Fuck! Shame <laughs> on me. I'm just like, I'm just RPing. I'm just running with it. Takes up a dice in real life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, no, you're in the bedroom with Dorman. It's like, what you missed out on. Oh, uh, whoops. Um, hey, can y'all hear this? Yes. What, what is it? Whoops, wrong one. If you didn't hear anything, this RTX voice stuff is amazing. I, I, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I heard it's pretty good. For I was wondering why so. your voice sounded a little different. Well, my voice sounds different be because shit. I'm on a headset. My, my headset microphone. Uh, I, I am tired of futzing with this Yeti trying to get the gain right. I will mess with it when, I'm, uh, when I've got more patience and a pop filter. Pop. So, um, neither of those are sleight of hand, Alex. Oh, you're talking about sleight of hand. I thought you said perception. No, oh, I said. <laughs> oh, okay. The only okay. P that was in this situation was not... a pop. You do not see the hand mirror, uh, Dorman. Okay. Uh, shall I describe what he sees? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. You're fine. I knew this was going to happen at some point. Okay. Uh, without his mask, you see uh, deep red skin, a short pair of horns, and feathers instead of hair on the otherwise unmarred face of a tiefling. Fun. Yeah. I just silently uh, acknowledge and, and, and just Put the I put the mirror away at this point because I've seen what I need to see. Okay. Um, Once I'm done with my prayer, I put the mask back on, and I say, "You may turn around again." Thank you. You're done. Yes. Oh, I turn around. Okay. Um, with that prayer over, eventually you both retire, uh, whether it's to meditate or to sleep. 
Um, I need a wisdom check, or I'm sorry, a wisdom saving throw from not Apothem at disadvantage. Uh -huh. Apothem. Oh, wow. Well, sorry. I need a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage, please. What? What? What just happened? And just to, so I can get these both together, uh, Dorman, please make me a wisdom saving throw standard, uh, just normal roll. Why am I at disadvantage? What's happening? Because you're meditating and you're not fully asleep. But, huh? Wait, elf, which character man. is this? Hang on a second. What's my? Oh, I am an elf. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I can't. Yep. I don't sleep. I meditate. You are not, you are not fully awake. You're meditating. You're in sort of a trance, but you are not sleeping. Um, and therefore, you are more susceptible to what is about to happen. Uh, Dorman, your window, much like most of the windows in this, uh, in this, on this end of the verdant corner, um, looks out over the center of the village. Uh, Apotham, you can see this as well. Uh, there is a well in the center of the village. You passed it coming in. Enelrith tossed a coin in and then said that he saw the child or suffered damage similar to what the child caused. Dorman, you remember this well because you remember vaguely, faintly, a dream the first night you were here in which something crawled out of the well. Now you're... You're asleep, but you're you can see the well. You can it's like you're standing at the window. Both of you are standing at the window. And you watch as the moonlight hits the, the lip of the well and then looks as though it pours in. Silver light splashing and, 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 and playing along the crevices of the stones that compose the well. As the light tumbles down into darkness. Eventually, one pale, sallow hand reaches up and over the edge of the well, and then another, and then a slender, uh, angular head, featureless along the face, uh, except for a mouth, a very wide mouth. A mouth lined with teeth, and against the the pallid flesh, the the red of its gums is striking even in the moonlight. And it opens this mouth as it continues crawling out of the well. This man shaped thing, long and thin and naked, it moves on all fours. Am, it, uh, go ahead. Am, am I able to take any actions during this this sequence? You are not. Okay, just one of that. Dream, this is a this is a dreamlike state. I can't I can't take dreamlike actions to fight dreamlike creatures. No, this okay. is not lucid dreaming. Uh, you okay. you watch you watch as it crawls on all fours. Um, it moves first south. And it's it's horrible to watch. It's like a crab moving. Only uh, the, the, the motions are skittish and quick. Uh, the legs dart forward, and then the body slowly pulls forward after them. Uh, in this uneven gait that gives it an un unearthly, uncanny quality, it, it it moves quickly along the ground to toward the south. Uh, end of the square, stands there for a moment, and then moves northwest towards the bridge crossing the river. You see it disappear over the bridge, and it's gone. And Apotham, you take three psychic damage. Still with me? 
Yep, I added it. Okay. Now this is going to heal by the time you wake up, so you don't have to consider that. When you wake up, you'll be at full HP, but you'll have taken that three psychic damage towards your total. Does that make so, sense? So, and, and what's the total that I'm trying to not get to or whatever? You want me to spoil that for you? Well, I mean, it, I'm I'm already exceeding like three or four of my stats. So if it's stat related, no, 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 no. No. okay. What? What's it at? Twelve. Uh... <laughs> Emilrith, you're Emilrith, you're you're around there too, aren't you? Exactly at twelve. Uh, check chat. I So now you have disadvantage. I need you to add that to your character sheet. Um, pop them. Uh, okay. So wisdom saving throws made against effects of this, whatever this dreamlike creature is, uh, now are at disadvantage unless you have advantage for some other reason. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like I said, in this case, you had disadvantage because you don't fully dream uh, and uh, you were more susceptible to whatever influence was was guiding you to watch the well. Okay. Um, when you wake up, you are not standing at the window. You are uh, wherever you were when you went to your trance. Uh, Dorman, you are in bed, uh, but you do wake up. Uh, there's nothing outside. There's no evidence that anything has happened near the well. Uh, just the, mem the memory of that dream and that long, slender person crawling out of the well. I just go immediately straight to the well after I wake up. I, I like go into the bar, grab like a quick sandwich. I throw a, I throw a silver and say thanks and and walk my way to the well while eating my breakfast sandwich. Okay. This is like four o'clock in the morning, so Aura is is up, but she's been she hasn't even gone to sleep yet. So she's she's she quickly prepares you something and she gets back to cleaning. Uh it's yeah. taking her some time to get up all the mess off the floor. Uh which still smells like cinnamon, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, I uh I I just I I grab just like a piece of food and I walk my way over to that to that well and I start investigating it more thoroughly and looking for any kind of magical essences traps anything I can. Okay. Like I'm I'm so sick of this crap. I'm about ready to like blow up this well. Like my character's getting ticked off because of the fact this is like the third or fourth time since he's gotten here that he's been given a headache by some random thing and it's starting to really piss him off. I got you. So he's he's investigating the well. Okay. Must be poisoned or something. Uh, you approach the well. Um, uh, Dorman, do you go with him by any chance? Uh, if that was enough time for me to get a like a full long rest, yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a, it's the four hours meditation, right? So that would technically well, it's, be. It's, it, it's been long enough for Dorman to get a rest as well. You, you, however long you were under, it's probably been longer than... I shouldn't say probably. Whatever that, whatever you were dreaming kept you in that trance for longer than four hours. Oh, it okay. Was about nine it was about 9 o'clock when you guys climbed up to bed. It's about 4 or 5 a.m. now. So, uh, Dorman, not as you approach the well... Uh, the the well is about five feet in diameter. The opening is about five feet in diameter, and the wall itself is about five feet high. It's is there water wall. in it? Um, you can't actually see. Uh, looking into the well, uh, even with dark vision, you cannot see the bottom. And uh. Looking into the well, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. God damn it. At disadvantage. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. 
Oh, you are good. staring into the well when, and this only occurs for Apotham. Dorman, uh, did you look into the well yet? No, I'm a few steps behind him. Okay. Apotham, uh, this only occurs for you. Okay, I, I don't want Dorman to react to it. You are looking into the well, and you hear a scrabbling sound. Just a... a, a, a... <laughs> So just a scrab a scrabbling noise that crawls up the side of the well and it's getting <clears throat> faster and louder. And then the next thing you know, this 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 child, this emaciated child is in your face, uh lunging toward your neck, uh gaunt uh cheeks uh hollow in the moon like the shadows on their cheeks is so thin and gaunt they are, um, and with its jaw distended as the child leaps for your throat. And then it's gone. And, oh, uh, poor thing's take... probably lost. <laughs> I take how much? Two psychic damage. Uh, <laughs> so I'm up to 14 now. Nothing new happens, but it's getting there. You've got a backup character, right? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's the greatest thing to hear from the GM. <laughs> I mean, I should really say that for all of you, given what's coming. I got a couple of ideas. So, just making sure. Uh, so, the how about my halfling divination wizard? <laughs> For some reason, I always associate that with Bill Murray, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, that is not my backup character. I have different backup character ideas. But, uh, so now you're standing, now you're kind of looking into the well. How do you react? How does your character react to that, that child leaping up out of the well at you? He thinks he's missing his mother, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Apotham. Yeah, sorry. sorry. I was I did not I'm not casting that. I clicked the wrong thing. You're fine. Like I'm zoning out, man. All right. I understand. Sorry. You're pretty Say tired. Again. Uh how does your character react to seeing this child leap up out of you out of the uh, out of you out of the well and then disappear? Uh, I, uh, draw my weapon and start stabbing the wall of the well. <laughs> really? Uh, I can't really do anything else and my character, because he doesn't have a lot of wisdom, I've got a 10 wisdom. Okay, like, hang on. I, this is important. Which part of those of the wall of the well? Well, uh, probably like the parts where the child came out of first, like whatever it was touching would be where I would start, and then I'd start like, I'd just go around, I'd just start stabbing it at every, at every point. i start stabbing the 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 whatever the like the little wooden thing that that holds the bucket and you wheel it up whatever the fuck that thing's called a little archway whatever okay so uh, I just I just like randomly poke at at random bricks and and other stuff across the wall and and uh and just like I for lack of a better way of putting it I spend like thirty minutes to an hour just hitting every part of this stupid well <laughs> how far down do you try to reach like lean over the wall of the well to poke further down? No, no, no. Just the outside of the well. I'm I'm not going I'm not gonna reach the perimeter of that well and I stay fully outside of it because if it's whatever's in if it's inside, I don't want to do anything. I want the I just wanna poke at it and see if anything else comes out or whatever. I just I'm like trying to make sure it's real, you know? It's like my yeah. character is in such disbelief that this thing keeps showing me these images, and I'm convinced it's some kind of illusion. You are scratching your way along the edge of the well for about 15 minutes. Dorman, what are you doing? Uh, I stare at this for a moment before I walk up to him and put a hand on his shoulder, and I say, what are you doing? There's something keeps coming out at me from this stupid well. And it's either coming from inside the well, or it's something to do with the well itself. And 
honestly, I'm I'm kind of terrified to even reach or go any further into that thing and look to see if it's even got water in it. Why don't you take a look? <laughs> I will once <laughs> you stop swinging your sword. Oh, oh, okay. I stop swinging and I take a step back and I motion with a gracious hand and go, after you. Before I do, how many times have you seen this creature? Uh, three times now, I think. Twice for me. The first seemed like a dream, and I thought this one was as well. But obviously... Yeah, I keep bleeding. Is the problem. Bleeding. I wipe my nose, there's a little bit of blood comes off, and I, uh... I look back and I go, yeah. And it keeps haunting my dreams, and not getting good sleep, and my head hurts, and... Okay. Uh, Dorman is going to t turn and gesture to the inn, and I'm going to cast Message uh, to Oscar, actually. I don't know if he's awake, but I will send the message to Oscar, and then to uh, Tyrell... Sorry, not Tyrell, Imelrith. I don't know where the fuck I got Tyrell. Um, saying to both of them, we've seen something strange. Come to the well. You may reply to this message. This message will self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> you cut to Oscar, and I'm like on the bed, like in the beam of sunlight, like stretches. Super, super not awake yet. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll hear you, and I kind of roll over and do cat stretch. And... Basically, I'm going to spend a couple of seconds just sending that same message to everyone, including Gray Malikov, because he seemed uh, interested in what's going on. And once I finish sending those messages, assuming that everybody's within about 120 feet of me from the well, I think, um, I will then nod to uh, not Apotham, turn put both hands on the side of the well and look into it. Wisdom saving throw, please. I've been doing really well on these for some reason <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> like, it, this fits a lot of the flavor of my character, but not the mechanics. In a just world, mouthing off like that would have seen you rolling that one. I yeah. know! <laughs> But I'm he really rolled two 18s. Yeah. I'm legitimately terrified of what this means for my rolls later on. In a perfect world, men like me would not exist. <laughs> um. So is he? We all show up. Is he still just like st randomly stabbing the well? Well, Dorman, you don't see anything. Mm. Do I see water at the bottom, or just flat blackness? Just flat blackness. Huh. Okay. Well, I actually need to step away for just a moment. I'm sorry, I just realized I left something in the freezer. I'm gonna wait for him to get back real quick. Wait. Doing okay. This is a per. Yeah. This is a perfect time for me to go grab something too. <laughs> Let me grab a drink if we're all stepping away for 60 seconds. Because I am very thirsty and my mouth is very parched. Yeah, get some uh, caffeine drink. I have, oh. a, um, I have a Paladin 5e question, if anyone might be able to help. What up? What's up, man? Uh, so at level 3, I get these Oath spells. It says they don't count towards my spell slots, so can I just, like, are they basically cantrips? No, 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 they don't count against your amount of spells, I think, known. Oh, that would make more sense. It's either known or prepared is kind of how you... I think, it's pre I think it's prepared, yeah. Yeah, now you that, have that... spell slots per level, yeah. So you only gotcha. have, like, three prepared per day. But what it means is that you can choose to... You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Thing don't count. Gotcha, yeah. I got those two regardless, and then I still choose three from my level one list. But I can still only cast three per day. Three what? Three spells. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Well, as soon as you said it, Barrett clicked in my head for some reason. I get two spells per short rest. 
Two Morlocks. In uh, Tomb of Horrors, Apotham built a... Uh, what the fuck does he call it? A coffee lock. A coffee lock, thank you. No, I, I any, if I ever run 5e, I ban the coffee lock. I'm okay with the coffee lock. Let's me get more creative with enemies. I still don't understand how it works. So the short version is that, um, so, you know, a sorcerer can sacrifice spell slots to gain more sorcery points. As a warlock, you, <laughs> but if you take a long rest, your sorcery points are reset. But if you take a short rest, your warlock spell slots refresh. So just never take a long rest. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you feasibly do have to take a long rest to uh, to actually, you know, not suffer exhaustion. But yeah. you don't have to to basically retain spells because since your warlock spells are always considered at the highest possible level you can cast, you just repeatedly use those spell slots to refresh your sorcery points, which you can also use to refresh your spell slots for your class of sorcerer. Yeah, so it's basically it's function like uh, if you take it to a stupid extreme, it's infinite spell points and therefore infinite spells. But that would require as long as you have a short rest, as long as you can rest for an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, when you talk about backups, I have so many backups. I have like two different bard characters. I have another warlock character. I've got a sorcerer that I could run. Uh, got a monk. Yeah, I've got a ton of uh, character concepts. <laughs> I can always bring in Fang. I am fast, like losing, uh, losing half uh, happiness and picking a warlock or a wizard for this game because we do all do magic. I should have been like, well, Apothem picked a rogue, didn't he? He's a paladin. I should have been a barbarian or something, a fighter. I and I I normally run barbarian, but since everyone was going magic casters in some way or another, I figured I'd lean into that. <clears throat> Breathe, pal. Hands up. Oh wow, that didn't even come through. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. What? Uh oh. The RTX like ate the. I made like a roaring sound. And the <laughs> it. I like thought it was your dog in the background <laughs> instead of you. I, I try again. Try again. Gotta be an. There we go. Okay. It definitely <laughs> tries to eat it. Yeah. I think my top backup character is probably going to be a Forge Cleric or maybe an Arcana Cleric. That sounds like Ooh, Bear Arcana in the cleric. other game. Arcana Clerics are cool. I was a Tempest Cleric, which is different. <laughs> in Close fact, enough. Arcana Clerics would, an Arcana Cleric in this particular situation would be amazing. Arcane Amshavation. So, uh, is everyone back? I think we're still missing Apo. Okay. Yep. But yeah, this, um, yeah, Arcane Cleric would be like, uh, boss in this, because we're, they get things against, uh, Abjurations, don't they? Mm hmm. Yep. That or an Oath of Redemption Paladin, because I love Oath of Redemption or Oath of Ancients, one of the two. Man, all all about that Oath of Conquest, man. Oath of Conquest is fucking boss. It's like, all right, everything fear me. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm doing this well on the wisdom saving throws. It's it's nuts. I should not be doing this well. I am back. I'm back. This is... Welcome back. Welcome back. Not a question, but is anybody... Is anybody besides even... I don't know if the bard is. Anybody unarmored in this fucking party? No armor. Oh, wait, no. I have a leather, like leather armor. I don't have armor. Yeah, I really wouldn't be leather. Yeah, I use a uh, mage armor spell.
Obrigado, thank you. Why do you ask? Uh, I'm trying to decide what to prepare. I had to pick four fucking spells, so I've been doing that for the last half hour, but I'm trying to decide what to prepare for the day, and uh, it's not completely, you know, out of universe. I could have noticed over the course of the last day what everybody was wearing and whether I should decide uh, to prepare mage armor or not. Well, mage armor can only be applied to you. Yeah. So? Why no, would that matter? Touch. Wait, really? Yeah. Mage armor doesn't stack on top of normal armor, though. No, it, yeah, it, it has to be unarmored. That's why I was asking. Yeah, like, I, I have mage armor as a, as a spell as well. I didn't know that. I, like, I, I don't play casters very often, so... Yeah, ranged touch, holy shit. But... The spell that does stack with armor but you can't cast on others, it's shield. And yeah. 5e, that's a reflex, or that's a reaction spell. It is, yep. yes. Believe me. I love and it. And it only lasts for a turn. It's for that oh shit moment. Chesley, I'm, I'm sorry. I hate to say this. Amanda's calling me to help her really quick in the other room. Hold on. Go for it. You're good. I'm banking on we're all going in the well. <laughs> it's like TPK. God, I hope not. <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> this is why my next backup character should should be Artificer. And just be like, huh, you got a problem in the well, Delia? Toss in. <laughs> you know, I thought about making one. because I... <laughs> Problem Artific solved. Artificers are fucking fun. Oh, is that a trap soul? Oh, let me use that real quick. I oh, see wait, you starting to of cud. So? Uh, just just make sure you pay attention. Like, no, no, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> I do the same thing. Just please stay on point here. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep myself awake, honestly. No, I, I got you. I, I, I absolutely, I, I do not have a problem with people doing that. Just make sure that we're, we're, we're trying, you know, Keeping a general eye on how things are going. You gonna cool. do a quick beat saber? Yeah. <clears throat> I could beat saber. Uh, that'd probably wake you the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, with uh... everyone back. You think Brian's still down? Oh yeah, that's right. God damn it. <laughs> beat saber. There's a sex joke in there somewhere. I'll beat your saber. Oh, probably. There, I did it. <laughs> I mean, uh, normally, <laughs> normally, I guess Beat Saber doesn't wake people up. It, it generally puts people to sleep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's beating sabers. Oh, that's... oh, of course. Oh, my bad. My. Bad. <laughs> I paid Xbox, and now they want, like, uh, if I click the Browse All Games button, it just, like, crashes the thing. It doesn't load the list. <laughs> Did you uh. Xbox subscription? <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! Damn you! Next time, Gadget. Next that was pretty time. good. Damn, that was awesome. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, that was really good. Hey, when I was in high school, I learned how to play that song on clarinet. <laughs> Oh, Dude, yeah. Dude, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> you know, it's funny because that voice is like just one octave lower than my orc voice that I like to use. 
and it's just like <laughs> it's, uh, sorry i'm just laughing at myself anyway i could uh <laughs> actually i i would love it actually i think about it if i was to play another character i could play a um could play an orc I think all of our backup characters combined will have, will have a total intelligence of like 12. Yeah! <laughs> We're all beaten, but when we all die, let's all pick like melees. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, yeah. If we all die, yeah, it's just like, since we all played spellcasters, if we all die, we all pick melee characters of some form. <laughs> Everyone take medicine. Except for the rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Who says we need a rogue? I mean, no, I mean, the rogue has to pick a caster if he dies, because he's the only non-caster. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I want to see how Chez works that into the story. It's like, okay, all the adventurers <laughs> fell into the well, and then a bar passing barbarian tribe decided to help. <laughs> <laughs> and by help, we mean... And then, uh, and then that roaming uh, batch of paladins that were <laughs> supposedly missing came back. <laughs> <laughs> And then this one oh, random oh, mage. I don't, I don't, here. I don't know how well that's going to work, Phantom. <laughs> All of us just like, Darius Volt, Darius Volt, Darius Volt. <laughs> Praise the sun. <laughs> I'm back. She said she's sorry. We can go. Uh, she doesn't have to apologize. And all right. <clears throat> so you're all standing around the well. Dorman has just looked inside and, and saw nothing. Uh, Damn it, Dorman! Which is what he says. He's just like, I see nothing but darkness. And I look and I say, Damn it, Dorman. There was something there, I'm telling you. I believe you. I saw it before, but there's nothing there now. I, I I walk back over to the well and say, what do you mean there's nothing in there? There was something in there just a second ago. And I, I, I look into the well and I like, like poke at the well with like the interior of the well with my sword. I wish I could cast guidance, but that doesn't help with saving throws. You look into the well again? It's only if it oh, well, I mean, he said there was nothing there. And I believe well, we him. saving throw at disadvantage. <laughs> Can I get it? Oh, okay, I guess it's probably too late. Like, is... Um, no, am I? Oh. oh. He showed up yet, and he's, like, sticking his head in there again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Do I die yet? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to RP this. I'm just, you know... You take, you take four psychic damage. Okay, I'm at 18. Uh, this time, there's no <laughs> child, there, but there is... A whisper at the back of your head. Uh, it, it feels like fingers are crawling across the back of your skull. Um, and there's just this whisper right behind your ear where you hear, Give yourself to me. Give me the bounty of you. The, and the what of? Oh, sorry, you cut the out. Bounty, the, the bounty of you. Is oh, okay. Uh, Sounds creepy sexual. I, uh, I need you to roll me another wisdom save this time without Please. disadvantage. Uh, and this one's for the this one's for all the marbles. Pa oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is time to get my topa ready. <laughs> all right, I need someone who is standing closest to Apothem. Probably me. <laughs> I think I don't think the rest have arrived yet. No, yeah, yeah, Corbin's like here. practically standing next to me as I'm doing this because I'm, I'm. It's like it's like it's I look in at the him middle of the leaf. And isn't this like in the middle of the night? Or yeah, it is. It's like it's very, very it's, early it's, morning. It's, it's dawn. It's dawn. Dawn is starting to creep over the horizon. The sky is starting to turn purple. Um, I need Dorman. All right, here's how this is gonna work. God help me, I'm trying. Um, <laughs> Apotham, roll me a dexterity saving throw. I'm sorry, a dexterity check at disadvantage. Dorman, you already know he's acting kind of weird, so roll me a dexterity saving throw at advantage. I've been rolling like shit all night. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong thing, sorry. It's Apotham, you are overwhelmed with the compulsion to jump into the well. 
Oh, jeez. You want nothing more than to give yourself to this well. Whatever, whoever is talking to you, whoever is, is, is asking for your for your bounty, as they call it, wants you to jump into the well, and you have one foot on the wall, one hand uh, clinging to the edge, the, the precipice, and you are pulling yourself up when Dorman's arm gets around your waist and tugs you back down. And as he's tugging me, I am screaming, It calls me! It's, it's calling to me! I must! I must give it my bounty! It's at this point, uh, while you guys are kind of standing here with, uh, with the group kind of approaching, that Reagan, the guard, approaches and, and he's got his halberd in hand and he says, what is going on here? Why is that man trying to climb into the well? I'm like visibly shaking and like trying to hold off Dorman, and but I have a minus one strength saving throw, so hey, I try to push him off. Guess I what I have? Minus <laughs> one. Oh, oh the shit! The weakest members of the party are having a slap fight. <laughs> yeah, off of me. Is anybody, is anybody else reacting to this? Get off of me! <laughs> uh, Dorman's gonna look at the rest of the group and ignore Reagan and say, "Stop looking and give me a hand." Yeah, I'll get in there. I'll try to stop uh, a possum. <laughs> All right, whoever has the highest strength, roll it. Roll at advantage because you're assisted. <laughs> I don't have high strength at all either, so I'm like, I'll help. Oh, <laughs> does like, with... does everyone like glance over at me? <laughs> like, whoever has the highest strength, I'm just sitting here in La La Land. Now all of a sudden, I just notice everyone turn and look at me. Or like all slap boxing. Like, all right, I guess. <laughs> uh, Apotham, you are restrained, um, and you you are you can't act any further. Uh, Reagan says, "What is going on here?" The well! The well it calls! It calls! I must give the bounty! It's okay, I'm so I'm just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> this is amazing, I love Reagan, it. Uh, um, I'm going to say Imorith. Uh, Imorith, roll me an insight check. You're, you're probably, you're, you're like the only one who hasn't been directly involved, like, over there trying to keep Potham down. <laughs> Uh, you and Greg, I'm sorry, you and Greg Malakov both roll me insight checks. I, I don't really want to get anywhere near there again, actually. <laughs> Greg, could you roll me an insight check as well? Phantom? Oh, my bad. You're good. Is it a insight check? Mm hmm Where is my insight? Where is my insight? Where is my insight? Oh, it rolled. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it did it twice. Well, I, neither of you really spot anything odd. Um, Reagan says that's not that's not how this works why is he trying to get... that's not I appreciate the sudden conversion to the religion but uh, that and I appreciate the spirit of the thing but that's A not going to get you out of town any quicker and B not how it's done really good did you ever name the religion do we know what they call themselves? Uh, you do not. Know. Was, what? You do not know what they call themselves. You know that the goddess's name is Opilia. Yeah. Um, and that they they oh. worship her thanks to the the uh, bounty of nat natural resources she has granted them surrounding the village. But he just he just told him he appreciates his conversion to the religion. Yes, but he didn't say the name of the religion. No, yeah. but he piqued my interest here. Oh, he's like he's also saying that's not how it's done, which I can only imagine is complimented by him starting up saying, 
uh, the bounty, the bounty, and flailing at the well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mean you are making that connection. He just hasn't said the name of the religion yet. Uh, he says, uh, Reagan says, what? I don't. I'm trying. Decius has told me, the mayor has told me that I need to be more sociable. And I am trying to be less aggressive. But first I find you with a dead thing on the floor of the tavern. Now you're out here at five in the God's damned morning trying to climb into the well. What am I to make of this? I just... <laughs> I continued to scream, the bounty! I must give the bounty! Can I slap him out of this? Is, is, yeah, and speaking uh, of which, do I ever recover from, from this insanity? Is there a number of rounds, or is oh, yeah, this... No, 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 uh, Dorman, uh, roll me an uh, 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 unarmed attack roll. Okay, I'm just gonna... Um, dagger because I don't have an armor on my sheet but I'm not actually stabbing him I'm just slapping him got you sure you don't want to stab him <laughs> okay, actually, wait, I'm not proficient uh, in unarmed uh, so subtract uh, two from that but that's still well 20 still, still, hit. 20 still hits you deal three bludgeoning damage uh, slapping him across the face Ow! Um, I deal bludgeoning damage uh, you deal one bludgeoning damage slapping him across the face um it is enough to knock him out of the compulsion. The compulsion fades, Apophis. <sighs> Why did I? Where? I need to rest. And I start, like, moseying back to the inn. And, like, just, like, kind of bleary-eyed and, and just, like, kind of, like, in a daze, basically, and just sort of walk like a zombie back to the back to the tavern. Uh, I just hobble down at the at the table, and I just ask for a beer and some food, and I just sit there and stare at it for a while. I uh, I I won't get close to the well. I won't go beyond like that point right there. But I do want to shout at Reagan. You know, do you not recognize this as a problem with your town? I assure you, I've traveled with this man. He wasn't. He wasn't that insane when we left. <laughs> I do not know where that came from, but if you're implying that there's something, some sort of rot in the town, I'd, I'd uh, ask you why everyone else around here is not similarly trying to defenestrate themselves into that well. I say I nobody, couldn't really. Go ahead. Nobody has, in my entire time here, has climbed into or out of the well. I say I couldn't really tell you. I don't know that much about you. Why don't you enlighten me? Your religion, this religion. What do you stand not, for? It is not my. We stand for hard work and worship of the one who provides. And it is not my place to tell you further. If you want to know more, you'll speak with Decius, and he'll deign to tell you more if he wants to. I'd like to see your chapel. Could that be arranged? That's up to Decius, not me. I say, come now, I'm a learned man. I'm an appreciator of... of everything. You could give me a tour. You could just show me inside the front door. I could find myself with my guts hanging out, thrown across the nearest gibbet, yes, if I were, if I so desired, but I don't. And therefore, I'm not going to uh, break break rank and give you a tour that's not, that doesn't have any permission for it. If you want to get inside the church, you'll speak with Decius, and you'll ask to get inside the church. He'll likely tell you no. I just realized Greer's just kind of hanging out there on the map. Mm. He's back. I was wondering about that. Uh, 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 Immelrith will kind of Jesse. scoff. Immelrith will kind of uh, scoff and turn on his heel. And he says, <laughs> got it. I'll talk to someone who matters then. Enough of you. And uh, he'll stomp back off towards the tavern. Um, 
Reagan looks at the rest of you and says, I, I suggest you get back to the inn. Desius will want to speak to you in a few hours. You'll need your beauty sleep. Well? Did we just wake up? What's up? Uh, Did we just wake up? You guys, you guys are just seeing stuff. Like you total cat. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, well, we don't even we don't even use it for water. It's just, it's just it's been there and we stopped using it and 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 no one's torn it down yet. Why isn't there a cover for it? Because we trust the village. There's no there's not enough idiots in the village to warrant a cover. I would disagree with that. I've met too many children. He gives you a sort of a hard stare, and he says, Have you seen many children around here? I thought Apollia provided all. Apollia does provide all. All we need. You have no need for a new generation. It doesn't work like that around here. Moreover, <laughs> how it works around here is none of your business. Go back to the tavern, sir. As you wish, sir. And he turns and starts to make his way back to the tavern. Foreman's like, I'm traveling with four children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we baby-proof the town while we're here? <laughs> uh, Terrell, Oscar, and Gray, what are you guys doing? Am I still holding down Nat? Nope, not Apophim. Calmed down and went back to the inn. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got sick of this shit. I was just gonna carry you off like a screaming child, but, I mean, that works too. I apparently woke up after being slapped. But I'm in such a... I'm like... I'm, like, shaken. I'm, I'm basically RPing as if I have the shaken status. At this point. I mean, wouldn't you? Did I see him freak out once he looked down the well? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ask, uh, Reagan. Um, could you look down that well for me? Why? I want to know what you see. Roll me persuasion. Is it going to do the thing? I press the button. You know our internet. On a 17, uh, yes, he, he, uh, he says, fine, whatever. He goes and takes a peek over the side of the well, down into it, and then looks at you. It's just dark down there. The well went fairly deep when it was still in use. No Why? one uses it? No, we get our water from the river. Why? Just, and he kind of leans, he leans towards you a little bit and says, what do you see? I'll go and look down the well, then. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Just waiting for it to register. Exciting times, these. Yes. The suspense is killing me. It's a six. It's a six. Take two psychic damage. Do I need to, like, note this particular type of damage down somewhere? Yes. Yes. Under your class resource, uh, there should be a space to... to um... I can fix it for you if you want on your character sheet. Uh, you'd have to go to D&D &D Beyond. Well, we can keep track of it with the, with the character sheet you've got here. 
Yeah, I won't uh, be looking at that though. But I'll I'll put it in. Uh... I got it. Uh, you haven't taken any uh, psychic damage so far, so this is your first two. Yeah. Um. So you hear over into the well, and you look down into the darkness, and again you hear a whisper along the back of your skull. Give me the bounty. Your bounty. Give it to me. And uh, roll me a secondary wisdom saving throw, please. Is anybody else still outside? Terrell uh, and uh, Oscar. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm like kind of hanging walking, out, walking towards the end too, and I'm like watching these guys. Like, why are they keep looking down the well? Because he asked me kindly to do it. Would you kindly? Uh, Phantom, roll me a dexterity check, please. A disadvantage. Uh, Terrell, roll me a dexterity check. Uh, add advantage, please. Terrell, you managed to get your arm around Gray before he throws himself into the well. Alright, I'm not giving these lads any more chances. I'm just gonna hold him over my shoulder and walk him back to the end, squirming. <laughs> Am I resisting? Uh, do, like, do I still want to go into the well? You very much want to go into the well. Oh, okay. But... Another one bites the dust. Dun, 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 dun. However, by the time Terrell gets you back cl closer to the tavern, um, the compulsion has faded. The further you get away from the well you get, the, 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 the easier the compulsion is to, to, to handle. What's, uh, when I come back to, what's uh, Reagan doing? Reagan is staring at you. He looks like he tried to stop you from going inside, jumping up onto the, the precipice of the well. Uh, and he's 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 looking at at the remaining person there, who is Oscar, and says, "What is wrong with your friends?" I don't know. They they keep saying uh, there's some creepy creepy thing in the well. And... I mean, you guys aren't helping with your creepy religion, but you should. I gotta yell back to him as I'm being dragged into the tavern. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, you should close off that well. And yeah, at this point, I, I totally agree. Can I try to convince the guy of that same fact? Like, clearly it's a public hazard. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check at disadvantage, because he very much doesn't want to mess with it. <laughs> oh... Ooh, even on a seven, oh wow, on a seventeen, hot damn! On a seventeen, he says, "I'll look into it." I don't understand what your problem is. We haven't. Mayhaps the next time, uh, may, 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 mayhaps tonight, you drink a little less. Yes. These these guys weren't drunk at all. They woke, you know, they just woke up and sure, and sure. Of course. Just stay away from it, yeah? Then I'll see what we can do about covering it up. Sounds good. Now, I'll if file you, if you excuse me, I've got other places to patrol that don't involve stopping idiots from jumping into wells. I'll file the necessary paperwork getting drunk less? How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we, we start being food and back to the end, like all the rest of us, I guess. Yep. Aura, by this point, is, uh, she looks pretty exhausted. Um, she says, uh, when you, when you guys start to enter back in, she says, oh, look, can I... I trust you a lot. I, you, you're, the, you're the nicest people that's coming to town, for sure. 
So I'm being um, set down back inside. And I'm going to look at this woman and say, For someone who rather wants to trust us, you say that a lot. I think this is the second, maybe third time you've asked if you could trust us. Well, there's a lot in question. Uh, but this is in this instance a little bit more mundane. I need to go to I need to go sleep. I, I haven't slept. I've been trying to clean up this mess all night. So I'm just going to put out some food and, and, and drink and let you have at it, and I'm going to bed. Okay. Do you want us to just lock the door for you and keep an eye on things? Just lock the door on your way out. No, you can't. You don't have a key. Um, just, just, it'll be fine. No one in this town is going to mess with me. There's too much, too much on, the too many people need lunch at work. But I need to get some rest before the lunch rush. So if you will, please, just have what you need and be about your business. I, I look and, and ask if there's anything I can help with. No, it's, it's clean. And, and really, I just need to get some, some sleep. Although I'll be seeing that on the backs of my eyelids, I'm sure. Uh, oh. Emilrith is standing by the uh, the window at the front of the tavern, trying to look out over that fence towards the square and watch uh, Reagan. But uh, he'll be moved by Aura's hospitality. And as she passes by him and tries to head up the stairs, he'd like to stop her and slip ten gold into her hand. Holy... That's a month. That's a month worth of food. You realize? It's, it's not so much to an old man like me. Well, um, thank you. <laughs> and she floats up the stairs. Um, it's interesting to watch her go upstairs because she she can't touch the ground. Uh, so she floats and then just sort of floats a little bit higher as she gets closer to the stair, and then continues ascending as she moves upward. Um, and, yeah. In keeping with narrative convenience, just as she cl shuts the door, by this point, Reagan has kind of left the square back on his patrols. He's headed back to Orange Town Hall. Just as she shuts the door to her room, uh, there is a pounding on the door, and she says, can you please tell them to go away? Well, I mean, I was standing at the window the whole time. Do I see and who is? See, what and what, what, what you see is a red-haired dwarf uh, woman that you might recognize as Maggie uh, approaching the door, and, and, and she looks distressed. Uh, I will. I, I'll jump up and uh, run to the door and, and open it. Let her in. She comes inside and she says, "Where's, where's Aura?" She's where's asleep. Aura? She's sleeping. Uh, um. Oh dear. Uh. Oh, okay. I saw I, you guys come into. I saw you guys come into town. I saw you come to town, and, I, and there was a man with you, uh, a, 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 a sporty-looking fellow. Uh, uh, he looked he looked sort of shady, to be honest. Uh-huh. Well, he tried to break into my grandmother's house, and, and there's, there's some, some issues over there, and I need some help. Wait, I thought that guy, the guy, that was the guy we were protecting, wasn't it? Nope, you guys came with another person who paid you to escort him to town. His name was Morgan. He was totally on the level. He gave us more help than Greer ever could. I see. He was way more useful of a traveling companion. And Immelrith liked him much, much more than Greer. Hmm. So Immelrith is, he'll say, another man. We, uh, well, one of us died last night. The other one has been MIA since we've 
arrived. He, you say he tried to break into your grandmother's house? Yes, uh, uh, she, she... Impossible. He was accosted by bandits on the road here. He was a stand-up gentleman. Is that why he tried to sneak in my room? I mean, what did you do? Did you give him reason? No! Alright. I'm just asking. Look, he's... She leaned oh. in. If I report him to the guards, he'll be killed. He's one of yours. He's still oh. lingering around the place, I think. I... Calm this down. Very strange... this, this has been a very strange morning. Calm down, you young lady. lady. I need you to come with me! Damn, girl, I... <laughs> Please. I'm trying, I'm trying to do you a favor. I don't want to get the guards involved. They already look at me funny, and if they catch your friend, they'll be killed. If you come with me, maybe you can, can you, we can find him and convince him to stop whatever it is he's doing. I don't know what he thinks he needs. I don't know why he was sneaking around the house, but he was trying to get in, and then he, he tried to sneak into my room, and I said something, and he left, and then I left to come get you. What? We'll help you. Calm down. Uh, Immelrith is honestly concerned about a way to lock up the tavern before they leave. Aura's, you know, gone to bed, and she asked them to watch. Um. Roll me an investigation check. You do a search around the bar for a spare key. They're usually kept somewhere around here, and in your experience, a lot of people tend to keep them at hand just in case. This one is kept under the uh, jar that normally serves as sort of a tip jar for gold pieces and copper and, and contributions to Aura's uh, income. Um, so uh, you you sort of lift the jar up, and there is a spare key under the jar. Uh, with, with that properly in hand, yeah, he, I'm, I'm going to try and gather the truth. I'm going to tell them that Morgan is apparently off doing something terrible. He didn't seem that bad, though. Seemed like a real, real, real good guy. So... Maybe this girl's lying to us. Maybe we need to check this out. Hmm. Sure, uh, yeah, I mean, anything's better than that well. Just, just make sure we're not going by the well on the way there. Yeah, as long as there's no wells involved, uh, I, I think I'll be okay. She looks kind of Welsh. I don't know about a <laughs> Really? Really? God, <clears throat> it got be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. Um. All right. Well. Uh, y'all head uh to. Y'all go with Maggie. This is gonna be a little railroading because we're getting about, about that point in the night where we want to get to the the real fun part. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna one hit us again. What's that? You wanna one hit us again? Uh, one shot. You this time. He's gotta get payback on a possum, yeah. It's a payback, yeah. A player for a player. Uh, a life for a, a life for a, a life for a life. One shot. Uh, for how it is. Soul for soul. She takes you across the bridge. Um, I want uh, Dorman and Apotham to roll me intelligence checks, please. Hooray! Moderately intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. You roll wisdom, high wisdom saves all night, and you have a zero. You roll one intelligence check, and it's a fucking five. Uh, Apotham, 
Yes. You get a you get a memory of seeing that white creature uh move over the bridge the night before. Going in this direction. Chez, Chez, do you realize what you've done? What? So it went over the river and to the woods to, to grandmother's house it went? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, and Maggie is leading you here. Campaign's over, boys. Where was the joke? <laughs> <laughs> the end. Chaz, I love you to death. That's funny. <laughs> I love you to three death saving throws. All right. If y'all will please drag your tokens onto this map. Granny's got like a slim and piece of property right on the river. Two story. That is too large. Uh, can someone make that small? I can't. I already got the A uh, Likewise, man. cannot. Uh, let me make those smaller. Sorry about that. I mean, you can just have a permanent and large cast on both of us. Please? No. Oh. <clears throat> we'll um, call it in biggin. <laughs> I think we're some mess on that. Uh, my brain. My brain, it hurts. And we need to set it to Wombo. I Wombo. You Wombo. He, she, it wombos. Wombology, the study of wombo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So, as you approach the house, which is this one-story uh, cabin, uh, kind of a little bit on the outskirts of the village, on the other side of the river. Um. It is. A, it's a pretty large little ca- Large little. It's a pretty large cabin. It's got what appears to be three rooms inside, uh, given the structure of the house. Um, at least three rooms. Uh, Magni approaches the front door, and who is anybody walking like close to her? I guess I would be up the, near the front with her. Yeah, I definitely would be near near. I'm. I, I'm with my memory. I'm. Right, uh, uh, the, right on top of her. Oh no! Okay. No, I'm fucking not. <laughs> uh, well, all right then. Uh, I need perception checks from uh, Apotham and Terrell and Oscar. Something ain't right here, boys. Terrell. As Maggie approaches the door, you hear a familiar sound that uh, it, it kind of crawls along your shoulders and, and rattles in you. It, it sounds like Greer did, that babbling, that gibbering coming from behind the door. Maggie, get away from the door! Don't uh, do it! Do you stop her from opening the door? Yes. Okay, uh, move your token up, please. Uh, you move to stop her from opening the door, and you step in front of the door just in time for something to break, smash through the door. This this like pseudopod of flesh. Uh, I'm sorry, no, this this yeah, the pseudopod of flesh ending in a maw of teeth as it reaches through the door to bite. Oh, Bert, it knocked down the door. Cool moment. A 14 misses. C, senior. Uh, and uh, it, it can't get through your armor, but the, the it, you definitely recognize it as another one of those gibbering mouthers. Which means I need you and Maggie to roll wisdom saves. The gibbering... Oh, she needs to be public roles. 
Yeah, she's fine. Loving that. All right. Uh, and as you might suspect, uh, it is initiative time. Oh, wait, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Forgot to clear the turn list. Uh, don't I keep forgetting to just There we go. You want us to re roll? Um, no. Uh, enough people did it. I can do it. The rest is manually. Oscar, you got 12. Uh, Emilrith, you got 13. Dorman has 16. Dorman got 16. Uh, is that everybody? Gray. Phantom? Oh, my bad. You're fine. Uh, roll initiative, please. All right. Uh, not a puffman. It is your turn. Oh boy. This thing well, is in the doorway. Um, these are impassable walls. I should note. I run here, and I swing with my main weapon on the gibberling. Okay. You kind of work your way around the door door frame, trying to get in an attack. Uh, that is a hit. You deal five piercing damage. Um, you do not have advantage, uh, even though normally you would because of the doorway. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna because you're, you're attacking through the doorway. It doesn't. You don't get the sneak attack bonus. Oh no, I wouldn't. I think it just does that by default. Honestly, I don't know how to make it not roll with the advantage rolls. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. We always take the left number anyway. It's more normally I would have you roll sneak attack damage if you have it, if you do have advantage on the attack. And uh, normally, you, or normally you would get sneak attack damage because there's an ally within five feet of it. But because it's in the doorway and it, you can't really both threaten it the way that you can't really both bear down on it at once, um, you don't get that. Okay. All right, uh, Terrell, it's your turn. All right, we're just going to start off by taking a nice swing with the Warhammer. Where'd it go? There we go. That is a hit. You deal six bludgeoning. I'm also going to use, uh, what's it called? Divine Smite for an extra 2d8. Smite. Why, why did you say that swing like a, the Warhammer thing like Bob Ross? Just gonna take a nice little swing with my warhammer. Oh, I it's didn't really little, Tiny little happy little tree. Uh, yeah, just, just get over here, and take a nice little swing of our warhammer, okay, and then, uh, then we're gonna, we're gonna find that enemy and we're gonna beat the devil out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Make him holy. You know, honestly, considering the fact that Bob Ross used to be a drill sergeant, I I almost kind of could see him going medieval on something like this. Maybe. Anyway, uh, Dorman. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on myself as well. Got you. Uh, Dorman is 
Yeah, straight up, he's just gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Snap out his casting rod, and it's a nine to hit. That's still a hit. Damn, okay, so that's 13 force damage. All right. Max oh, I didn't actually roll initiative for this thing. Uh, Somebody actually goes. That. It actually goes next before Emilrith. I'm gonna step off to the side over. Actually, I'm gonna go over here because I'm worried about not. No, right. Also, the NPC is not in order. Uh, oh yeah, good point. Our girl Maggie. Oh wow! Should go top of the next round. Um. All right. So it's the gibbering Mouther's turn. It's gonna. It's gonna try to bite uh, Apotham first. Ow! Take fifteen piercing damage. Uh, oh shit! Uh. Uh. So I'm down. <laughs> How much HP do you have? You should have a well. Of year well, level three dude yeah but the the problem is well for starts i only have a d6 in health secondly no, rogues get d8s yeah. d8s no, they don't what uh, dude no yeah, i don't rogues get so. d8s i'm pretty Did fucking I? sure hold on uh, yes d8s rogue. so you should have like four and a half like, yeah ro uh, rogues at d8 but b but here's the yeah, thing you guys are enough. forgetting. I took like another what was it? That, uh that nine damage. Deal. No, well not not the psych not the psychic damage I took from the second time looking in the well and all of the other stuff. Oh, like okay. Yeah, yeah, like the way the sequence played out, I basically took close to half my health and damage just from preliminary stuff leading up to this point. So when I got took that fifteen, it did that's what really dropped me. Okay. Um Wow. And, with, and that plus the is is it a D eight? So I if it's if I'm level three with a D eight and I'm taking average health, which is six, right? Because I have plus two con and average would be four for a D eight. Average is five for a D eight. So you for have, five. So fifteen you plus have six. 20, you have twenty one health. Yeah. Okay. So I was only one hit point off. So I I'm still standing, but I have like two hit points left. Hey Chez, real okay. quick. Okay. I have this. When would you like me to declare? Hold on, that for future reference. Um, before the, the before before the attack. Uh, before well, basically, when I'm like, does it does this hit your AC or whatever? Just go ahead and declare it. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll try my best. Uh, did you want to do that this time? I mean, if you'll give it to me, sure. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure Nat would love it. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. I'll, yeah, I'll give that to you. He's gonna. He's gonna try and bite it. Bite him again, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now I'm really dead. Uh. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, bro. Yeah. I tried. Thirty-one. Uh, five. Excellent. So so, do I just go to zero and then I start rolling death saves, or am I just oh. dead dead? Because I'm pretty sure that just makes me dead dead. No 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 no. No, to be to be overkilled, uh, essentially killed killed in one shot. You have to um take uh, all of your health in negatives. Oh um, yeah. So like well, if you if it reduces you, you know whatever your HP was, if this drops you into the negatives, if it drops you to the negatives equal to your total health pool, that kills you outright. So it's very unlikely that's going to happen, seeing what level we are and everything else going on. Uh, though if you take an extra hit after you've been downed, that counts as one failed death saving throw. Well, hang on a second, because I had two health when he hit me. And okay. that's 31 damage. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay, we are getting confused. We're going to sort this out. He tries to hit you first time, right? Yeah. Jay had a feature, Terrell had a feature that we didn't use, that I allowed him to use because he hadn't really declared it before. Okay? That feature is protection fighting style. 
that allows uh, Jay to impose disadvantage on an attack against somebody adjacent to him. He used that, which means the 15 did not go through. Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, so okay, so were, now I'm were... just at negative 16 instead, okay. Yes, so you are at negative 16. You are absolutely down because you just got crit by a CR3 monster. But I mean, yeah, are, but I'm not dead dead, which is what's But you're not here. outright dead. So Yeah, thanks. I, I really didn't feel like... Yeah, and, hits, and this is right only... <laughs> yeah, the, over, the over-hit damage only happens if, it, if that's in one single hit. If you get hit multiple yeah. times and you've already been down, that's just a failed death saving throw. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's good to know, because that's much, very, very different compared to everything else I've played, so I appreciate the information. Yep. No problem. Just wanted to make sure we cleared that up. All yeah. Right. Uh, that is the Gibbering Mouther's turn. Um, it is actually going to back up into the house uh, and risk a uh, an attack of opportunity from Maggie and an attack of opportunity from... Um, I actually uh, don't get one. Oh, yeah, you used a reaction, so it's just, yep. just Maggie. Uh, who nat ones and does not hit. Maggie, quit trying to stab me. Why does everyone try to stab the paladin? What is going on in this it town? Backs up, it backs up into the house, and now that it's backed away, you can see further into the house, Jay? Uh, I'm sorry, Terrell? Um, and seated at the table, not moving, is Morgan. And Morith, it is your turn. Uh, it's backed up into the uh, the middle of this room here. Can I still see it? Yes. If I were to say move up 10 to 15 feet, would I have a shot on it from here? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to take a quick stride up and cast Scorching Ray. Okay. The first one hits. Second one hits. Third one hits. For a total of 29 damage. Do, does that kill or no? No. God damn it. Immorith, uh, Immorith will be shocked and slightly uh, insulted that this did not kill. Ray, it's your turn. Dr. Howell. Mr. Malikov, Phantom. Oh, shit. My bad. I was spaced out. <laughs> I got you. No problem. Do I can my character see anything that's up there? Uh, yeah, you can see past Terrell, kind of into the house where the gibbering mouther is seated. Not seated, but is sort of uh standing on the uh in the center of a room. Um, you you cannot see anything else in the room. I mean, nothing of note. I should say. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am going to cast uh. Fire bolt at this thing. Okay. I doubt that hits. Uh, you would be incorrect. It does hit. Gibbering mouthers have an AC of nine. Oh. Uh, you tag it. It's still going, but it's barely standing. Uh, Oscar Mao. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up to my my friend and I'm gonna sigh. This is uh, definitely not the first and probably not the last time I'm gonna have to do this, but I'm gonna reach out yeah. and touch him. You heal for and five HP. Touch. And then I'm gonna do a cool new thing that I got, and I'm gonna, you know, like the sunlight from the sky is gonna just 
hit my fur in such a specific way and I'm going to meow and get the attention of the three people in front of me. Um, and all three of you gain five temp HP, uh, and you can also move your full move speed without provoking attacks. Still down. No, you're not. Five. No, there's no such thing as negative HP in 5e. You're at zero, so now you're back at five. Yeah. Oh, so I'm actually at 10 then. Uh, uh, yeah, oh. five and five temp. They're separate. There's a spot. On your yeah, I see it. Okay, got it. And Thank then, you. Yeah, Mikey and uh, Apotham and I can't read your first name. Sunbringer. Jirel. Jirel. Uh, you can move your whole movement without opportunity attacks. So you can close or you can retreat or whatever. I have three charisma, so I can pick three targets. Well, Terrell doesn't have a reaction, but Maggie Maggie doesn't either, but not does. Hey, I get up and move into the room. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay, I didn't even read that part. Uh, So I take one, two, three, four, five. I can't take six because I stood up. Yep. All right. Um... Y'all hear oh, rustling in the tree? Uh, no. Sorry. Oh, wrong, wrong position. I charge up to the gibberling is what I meant to do. Sorry, I okay. I got the tokens confused. I thought that was the gibberling. Nope. Uh, y'all hear a series of rustling noises in the trees around you, and charging out of the trees is a giant boar. With some odd glow in its eyes. Hey, is it the same giant boar that we saw before? Uh, it is not immediately obvious whether it is or not. It's going to take a double move action. Uh, and similarly, with uh, some strange glowing purple eyes, is a giant owl. That's going to fly Brother? over here and attack Gray Malikov. Oh, joy. And that once. God damn it. Yeah. Hoot. Or you, should you say hoot? No, just woot. Oh. Waka 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 waka. I am not. I am not an owl, sir. That is the other character. <laughs> oh. I know we both wear masks that may confuse you. But... <laughs> there's a there's a person here disguised as an owl. Oh yeah? Who? What did you just fucking say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a hoot! Uh, not a, not a pop. It's your turn. <laughs> I'd swing at the gibberling with everything I've got, which is just one attack because I'm lame like that, and I miss. <laughs> and then I, I, I run away. He ties. <laughs> Wait, oh, the, what? Yeah, that's a tie, dude. Oh, I hit. Yay! No, oh, and then I stand there menacingly instead. Wow. Yeah, it's still not down though. Oh, then I run Jesus. away anyway. Fucking. That provoked an attack of opportunity, and I'm not letting you take that back. I don't want to take it back. I've already tried to do it twice, and I get hit. Does the 14 hit? Yeah, it does. Unless... Wait, oh, wait a second. Shit. Am I wearing armor? Yes. I'd uh, assume so. You get it to start with. Oh, uh, yeah. My dex mod's only a 3, so I'm getting my armor from something, I guess. Yeah. I just... I just damage, don't... you're down again. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I I get five feet away and I just drop. Oh, that was fast. Terrell, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I just like step over not without any issue? Sure. All right. <laughs> All right. Out of the way, lad. I'll, I'll show you how this is done. Let's step forward and take a swing. No, I'm not going to use Divine Smite this time, or whatever it's called. Yeah, not using it. Uh, yeah, it's not necessary. You smash it, 
it finally stopped moving. The, the flesh just kind of disintegrates and, and, and it just becomes this pile on the floor. Uh, that's going to do it for me. You still have movement in 5e. You can do movement. Oh, attack, yeah. Movement. I forgot yeah. about that. 510. Are you giving me any negatives for going over or not or no? No. All right, so that was 10. I don't know what Morgan's doing, but we'll do the bigger threat. So 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. All right, it's uh, Maggie's turn because it's, I forgot to fucking fix her turn order. Um, she goes inside and takes a look at the flush pile. Wait, no, that should be an intelligence check. Oh, no. And begins screaming. Oh, no. Uh, and she As one does. Her, she just spends her turn screaming in uh, distress. Oh, no, That's I think we killed her grandma. Dormant, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> a doorman. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. We'll move into there, uh, casting Rod at the ready, looking around. Uh, he's going to call out, uh, Nalt needs help. Morgan, what are you doing here? Morgan stares at you, but does not respond. And that's my turn, because I can't heal. Okay. Uh, the gibbering mouther is dead. Uh, Imelrith, it is your turn. Uh, I will whip my attention around. We're being set upon by some fucking scary owls. Uh, so I will uh, magic missile the uh, the owl specifically, please. I forgot about those. Fuck. Oh, okay. Fuck. Uh, three, four, three, that's ten. Um, you, the missile slam into this owl's flank, nearly knocking it out of the air, but it maintains its balance. Wait, no, three, three, four, three is a game company. God, I want I can't wait for Halo 2 to come out next week. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, and I will, uh, move back towards the steps toward the house and then my turn okay uh the giant owl has uh it's a large creature so it gets an attack of opportunity on you uh it hits jesus christ the owls are not with it sla you take 11 slashing i'm All still right, up great. uh it should be gray malakov's turn Hmm. Well, seeing that I'm being attacked by a giant owl, uh, has anyone hit this thing yet? Mm, Negative, no, Batman. So. The magic Which one? The owl? Oh yeah, yeah the missile. Yeah. The owl got hit by the magic missile. Okay. Thirty-three hit points worth. Does that put it to sleep? Uh, yes. The owl falls Whoa. out of the sky. Um, it's fairly low to the ground uh, already, so it doesn't take any damage, but it is unconscious. Good, good. Uh, with that, I am going to make my way up here. How far does that go out? 20 feet? Actually, no. After the 9, it wouldn't be enough to put anybody else to sleep. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, I can make the radius uh, right at the edge to where the owl is the only one inside of it. Fair point, fair point. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the owl is asleep. And uh, that is, is, uh, is anyone actually downed right now? Apotham. Apotham is downed? Yep. Yeah, I'm the only one down. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're over there. Uh, I'm going to walk, uh, and I take and lay my hand on you, and you heal 3 HP. Yay, I stand back up. Or whenever. Okay. Down, up, All right. down, up. Man, Mr. GM, make up your mind. Do you want me dead or alive? <laughs> Oscar Mao, it's your turn. I'm not going to comment any further on that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, Apotham. Is, he's up, right? Yeah, I have three health. Oh, thank God. Sleep was a great move. That that was my, like, that was what I was planning. So you, like, you, you pulled the rug out from under my turn. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to just do the, the same. Everybody's got reactions now, right? Like Dorman and Apotham and uh Well, I mean everyone has a reaction. Yeah, yeah I haven't burned any. If you've used your reaction, oh, you get it back at the, at the start of the turn. Yes, I have it. But temp HP doesn't stack. So it does not. It goes to whatever the, is the highest. I'm going to do the same thing, uh, the bonus thing. Uh, one of them on Apotham, because he keeps dying and he needs the 510 HP again. Yay. Um, I'll give one to Immelrith, because he's a boy. And I'll give one to uh, Dorman. Pretty much to spread out the temp HP. So both of you guys get 510 HP, and you can move right now. No, no opportunity attacks. Right meow. Right now. I don't want to retreat in the building. I would like to stay out here and continue fighting. I'm glad somebody um, clarified that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to move, you don't have to. It can just be temp HP. But it's I pretty much way up. better than my inspiration, I think. So for the same cost. That's my bonus, and then I'm going to, yeah, I guess I'm going to kind of move over to, like, prepare for the bird execution, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare Vicious Mockery uh, when the bird wakes up. Okay. Ready in action. Uh, and that's it for me. It is Morgan's turn. <clears throat> Morgan approaches Maggie. And as he does, he draws his sword. It's a quick motion. It's a vicious motion. He charges her, sword raised. Hits her for six. Yeah, she got five temp HP, though. I got you. Okay, I'm just making six. Sure. You're such a dick, dude. I did just do Final Fantasy VII. That is terrible. Crits are, for, crits are for six. And hits her for four. Oh, you're such a dick. It's very sad. Dun dun dun. She, dun dun dun. She weathers the first two blows. Uh, she managed to get her sword up. She's got a rapier, and she managed to get the rapier up in time to kind of parry the first blow a little bit. The second one bites into her side. The third one bites into her shoulder, and she is badly wounded. Dead, but she's badly wounded. 
The owl dozes peacefully. The boar, on the other hand, charges Terrell. <laughs> Do your worst, foul creature. All right, so it moves toward you. Uh, it does not have advantage on the attack, so that misses. Whoop, whoop. Ah. Um, and that is its turn. Uh, not you were up. Uh, Shitty would it have been if I just if I just had Morgan come over and, and hit you again? Uh, I kind of expect it, honestly, at this point, just considering my luck. Um, I throw. Uh, I gotta look up what this item does real quick. Oh, he's not moving when he makes his attack, so... Uh, never mind. I'm gonna swing it more- or, well, I'm- <sighs> Shit. My character looks very confused as to what to do. Uh... I try to persuade Mar Morgan to stop. Okay. Roll me a persuasion check. Nope. He doesn't even appear to acknowledge you. Can I swing on him? Sure. That is a hit. Uh, well, it's a hit. He kind of turns the blow aside, but you can tell you threw him a little bit off balance. All right. Yep, that's going to be it for me. Okay. Terrell, it's your turn. All right. Um, yeah, status quo. Let's take another swing. Right at the uh, boar. That's a hit. All right, and uh, we're, yeah, we're going to use Divine Smite. Why not? Oh my god. Reroll that. God damn it. Oh my lord. <laughs> Much <laughs> better. Like the exact opposite. <sighs> Fucking ones. And then I'm just going to slide much. five feet that way. Slide to the left. Exactly. Slide to the right. One hop this time. Bing, bing. Bum. That song's actually really fun to play in Beat Saber. I bet. Yeah, did they do Macarena in the Beat Saber? It'd be good. Yeah, um, it is. It's <laughs> funny. It is it's really funny. Just run. <laughs> hey, Macarena. Hi. Right. Maggie is furious. Uh, her, 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 her sorrow has turned to fury. She turns toward uh, uh, Morgan and says, "This, this was your doing. Sure, you're, you're the reason she's dead." And she begins mm -hmm. to try and attack him. It misses. Actually, no. She's got a feature where she gets advantage. If Dorman, would you consider yourself threatening Morgan at this point? Oh hell yeah. Okay, yep. She's got advantage, so she deals twenty damage okay. total to him. That gets through his defenses. A good, a good cut along his side that doesn't seem to phase him. Dorman, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action, I am going to cast Hex. Okay. That's that's at level two because everything I cast is at level two right now. Because yes. Um, so he needs to make me a dex saving throw, I think it was. Oh, wait, no, no, this, yeah. Uh, 
Let's cast the creature and see within range. Yada yada yada. Oh no, no, he doesn't get a save against this. I just get to hex him. Cool. Uh, and then as my regular action, I'm going to Eldritch Blast this asshole. Uh, while bellowing, what are you doing? It's 13 hit. Uh, no. Damn. Um. Yeah, that's about what I got. I, uh, I'm hope I'm hoping that he will turn and attack me instead of my two heavily armed, com to heavily injured comrades here. That's where you're wrong, Sean. Emilrith, <laughs> <laughs> it is your turn. Uh, Gray dropped that owl, so I'm gonna shift my focus to that the boar and just uh, hit him with another magic missile. Can we see any more of the room, or is that like the walls? Oh, no, you can see the entire room now. Sorry. 14. Damn, bro, them D4 rolls are on fire. That boar is barely standing. Great, it's your turn. Uh, me? For true? <sighs> that boar... How... You said it's barely standing? Yep. Shoot a firebolt at it. Why not? Alright. Doesn't crit, but it does hit. <laughs> Seven Ow. fire damage. Sorry. Seven does it. Bless it goes you. down, unable to stand beneath the weight of its injuries. Want to move or anything? Mm. No, I, I think I'm good here. Okay. Oscar Meow. Well, I do not have very many decent spells and stuff. I don't know. I'm just like, barding is interesting. Uh, this boar is dead? Yep, the boar is okay. dead. And that thing never woke up. Um, I'm just going to do the same kind of thing. I'm going to take a couple steps up north. And I'm going to uh, prepare Vicious Mockery for when that thing wakes up. Yep. Again. It is going to keep bearing down on Maggie. Hit. Miss. Miss. Maggie's looking pretty fucked up. The giant owl sleeps on. The boar is dead. Apothemon is your turn. Um. <laughs> uh, I just swing on guy next to me again. Okay. Uh, that's a hit. You have advantage on this one, or you, you have sneak attack on this one, so please roll me whatever oh. sneak attack is. Oh, fuck. Rogue 5. Uh, I'm 2d6. Thank you. Alright, so a total of 12 damage. Total of 12? Uh huh. Got it. Good hit. Finally. Terrell, it's your turn. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's run inside. So, 5, 10, 
15, any penalty for going through people? Nope. All right. 20. Wait, no, that would be bad. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go here. And if I take an AOO, that's fine. No, you don't. All right, let's take a swing on Morgan, because he's being a dick. Okay. That's a miss. And that's it for me. It's Maggie's turn. Uh, with advantage, that hits. She deals a total of 15 damage. Oh. You killed her! This is your fault! Dormant, it's your turn. Okay, okay, okay. So, with everything that's going on... <clears throat> does it look like, you know, like, if I look at him, can I tell if he's being influenced by something? Yeah, making an, like, an, I don't know if that'd be an Arcana check or not. That's up to you. Roll an Arcana check. <laughs> nope. You can't really put anything together right now. You're you're too addled yeah. by combat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uses up my action as well. Uh, so with that, I am going to shift around so that I am behind. Well, now, hang on. I let I let Apotha make a persuasion check and then do an action. So I'll let you do the same. Fair. Oh, yeah, I figured gosh. since it was because I didn't move. I don't. I, we are, we are past the point of bedtime at this point for at least one of our players. Let's let's keep going. Uh, um, just, I can nine. Direction. Just not hit. What's that? Did you roll? Yeah, a nine does not hit. No, a nine does not hit. Yeah. So with that, I will just move around so that I'm you know trying to distract him. Okay. And Marith, it's your turn. Uh, I know this this owl is still on fire, but like I'm I'm not comfortable with it. It's uh, it's still a threat to me until I fucking cook it. So uh, I'm gonna firebolt it. Okay. Oh no! Fuck! I miss the fucking sleeping bird on the ground. Uh, if... You're too addled by combat. It goes wide. It doesn't hit. And the... Also, it's prone, so you'd be at disadvantage using a ranged attack at it. That's, uh, that's a good point, yep. It didn't matter, because they were within one of each other. Mm -hmm. Good point, all the same. All right. Uh, if you want to move, Emorith, go ahead. Uh, uh, Gray, it's your turn. Let me see. Well, first, I'm going to call out and say, let's not shoot the giant death bird, okay? Does it sleep forever? No. It's only asleep for one minute. It has been three rounds. I think he wants somebody to stab the bird. I do, but it's okay. I'd, I'd like... Well, it's, I guess I'll say, he says, let us deal with the rest of them, and then we can all come out and stab the bird together if you want it dead so badly. Emil Riff wonders who the rest of them is, because as far as he's seen outside of this building, there's been a gibbering mad mass of flesh that they've taken care of, a huge boar that they've taken care of. Is it? There's one more combatant inside, isn't there? Uh, I wouldn't think so. That. That. You haven't seen. You have. You haven't looked inside yet. But I hear fighting inside. Oh yes, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, that. So um, I uh, step up to the door and I gesture to the door, and then that's all I'm going to do for my turn. Okay, Oscar, your turn. Okay, uh, sounds like we should get in there. Or at least help out those people. Um, I can't get in there without provoking, right? Uh, you can. Uh, okay, so 
Attacks of opportunity do not occur when you move within threatened yep. squares. Uh, they only occur when you attempt to leave. Yep. Uh, so if you were good. to go here and then if you were to try to go, go this way, then yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go here. Okay. I'm gonna touch touch my friend Apotham again with with another sigh. Okay. Yay! Uh, Thanks. Gosh. And I'm gonna take that one more sweet step this way. Okay. Uh, that's sweet, it. sweet step. All right, it's Morgan's turn. He lets out the first sound he's made since you since you saw him in here with this awful roar that that just bubbles up out of him it's nearly it's 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 almost inhuman as he bears down on maggie with another trio of attacks uh the first one misses because of terrell the second one hits the third one hits shit she goes down you do your thing oh i see he did his thing fuck yeah, it only counts for the first attack, unfortunately. That seems... Uh, it's a brutal kill. Um, he he slams the the scimitar down on the first attack. It, Terrell turns it, but then the second one, uh, Maggie's distracted by by Terrell sort of stepping in, and so she's not prepared when the first when the second attack hits her in the side, and she bends around the blow before Morgan, uh, quickly sweeps the scimitar through her side, uh, up and around and across her throat. And she goes down. Uh, the giant owl sleeps on. It is not a possum's turn. I stab <laughs> Greer, uh, or whatever his fucking name is again. It's, whose turn is it then? It's, uh, it's not a possum's turn. Oh, so whose turn yeah, is so it? Whose turn is it if it's not a Potham's? <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's not mine. It's How been... do you kill Morgan? <laughs> I uh, I run him through the chest, basically, and in a very cold tone, say that is enough of that. When you do this, there is. He stares at you with that blank face, that blank expression, for a moment, and then there's just this instant of surprise and shock. And he says, Why would you do something like that? What did I do? And then he dies. Oh, oh, that's all. <laughs> Well, I mean, if if I understand the rules correctly, could we not revive him since I just, like, put him on the ground? Depends. And, uh, NPC, NPCs uh, are not always given the luxury of going down to zero or whatever that we equivalent that we do. They don't necessarily have death saving throws. The GM could just say, he dies. Uh-oh. And you told me you ran him through the chest. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah. But magic. <laughs> yeah. But magic, sir. It takes, it okay. takes. I could go into the. I, I've tr I've tried to come up with lore reasons for why resurrection magic magic works and, and all that other stuff and why it doesn't work or when it doesn't work. Um, the short version is uh, fatal injuries. Um, once, <laughs> Oscar. Once, <laughs> once a fatal injury has been inflicted, uh, healing magic is no longer sufficient to to return life to the to the body. So, uh, fuck that resurrection magic works because I give the motherfucker three hundred gold. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is now approaching 10.30 Eastern Time, uh, which we all know is the only real time zone, I guess. Uh, and uh, uh, it is about time for at least one of us to be in bed. So we're going to call it there. Uh, we're going to continue next week. This should be about three or, three or more, three or four more sessions, I think. Um, uh, it, it kind of expanded beyond its original scope as I started to think other things up and wanted to kind of introduce the mystery a little bit more slowly. But um, uh, we will... Go ahead. 
the this this motherfucking bird is still alive. Can I'm not I, cool. Can I can I assume that the bird will be killed? Uh no, we could if we want just Pokemon. say it. We could just stay inside until the spell effect goes away and then just let it go. <laughs> Did we know it was under a spell. I mean, it was just a big bird that attacked us, right? Why yeah, exactly. As far as we know, it was just some big bird that decided to swoop down and attack us because it saw <laughs> a bunch of little things, you know, free meal. It's sleeping now. And I mean, we don't have to... I understand we, we just want to retreat inside and not take the threat, but I mean, like, we... Like, Terrell, come stab this thing through the head or something. Well, I mean, like, what I'm saying is, like, do... Like, this is the question uh, of... uh. If you knocked an animal unconscious that was attacking you, would you leave it there and just go away, or would you no. viciously stomp its head? Yes. I mean, it depends on situation. Is it a giant fucking owl that just attacked us in tandem with a giant fucking boar? Yes, Listen, I would kill it. When the talons are as big as my arms, the rules go out the window. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to just it's, run inside it's up and hide. To, it's up to you guys. Like, I, I'll, I'm gonna stay. In, I'm gonna stay inside. You want to mess with the angry druid? By all means. Yeah, I, I'm staying inside. You just close the door. <laughs> I wish you could see my expression right now. We're not sure what to do about the bird. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to escape one session with not being downed. And I keep losing connection to roll 20. Bring mouth or I, I swear to God, if a, if a fucking animal kills one of you after a gibbering mouther couldn't do it, I will have a fit. <laughs> I mean, just target a possum. I will. I, I will <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> I will. I will throw a tantrum. Uh, thank y'all for playing. Uh, we'll just get the word out next time, and uh, and we're gonna call it here because I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>